In the heart of Scarborough in 1923, in a small community on Pharmacy Avenue, seeds of faith were planted by Rev. Thomas O. Curlis, the incumbent of the Church of the Incarnation, when he conducted Christian education classes every Friday in Regent Park Public School. His efforts led to the start of a Sunday school in June 1924 in Ray Paris Hall. It was under Rev. Curlis' leadership that the Regent Park Mission, soon to become the Church of St. Bede, was established as an extension of the Church of the Incarnation on November 9, 1924. The first worship service of the Regent Park Mission took place with 46 faithful souls. On the 15th of February 1928, the parish officially became a part of the Church of England and the first vestry of the Regent Park Mission was held at Wade Paris Hall. On the same day, the name Church of St. Bede was selected and submitted to the Toronto Bishop for approval. The plot that was purchased was exchanged for the same plot of land on which the current building sits. Up on a little hill shining its light to faithful followers in the community, bringing to life the scripture verse from Matthew 5.14. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. In 1934, the congregation celebrated their first Holy Communion in a new framed church with 125 members, followed by a dedication service later in the year. The church on a hill sure was a sign of hope and joy during difficult times. After World War II, Toronto suburbs saw a population boom and St. Beats needed to expand to welcome new families. In 1956, Rev. Walter S. Johnson, appointed as the first incumbent of the Church of St. Bede, launched a financial campaign for a new and better set of buildings. The St. Bede's Rectory was built on the site of the old Raid Bears Hall, the same spot where the Sunday school was first started 34 years ago. In 1958, the congregation elected to demolish the frame structure. It was a difficult but necessary step to make way for the new brick building. The old church was replaced with a larger, beautiful new church that incorporated elements from the old building, such as stained windows and roof timbers that were used to build a big new cross placed at the front of the church. On the 18th of September 1958, the new building was dedicated to the glory of God and for the use of the faithful community in the neighborhood. St. Beats continued to grow by adding a chapel to the building extension to host Bible studies and Sunday school. In 1973, when the Mother Church of the Incarnation closed, the altar and the cross were brought into the Beats Chapel, which was then renamed as the Incarnation Chapel. Over the years, dedicated clergy like Reverends David Mitchell, Brian Roberts, George Noble, John Purser, Walter Johnson, Douglas Logan Barry, Jack Crouch, Robert Gristale, Padre Leslie Harding, Alan Ferguson, David Harover, Alice Metcalf, Kim Beard, and Wendy Murphy led the church through the first 75 years. In 1999, Reverend David Callison was appointed priest and St. Bede celebrated its 75th anniversary the same year. It was a testament to the congregation that it obtained permission to change Florence Road to St. Bede Road, establishing the congregation as an integral part of the community. From 2008 to 2011, Reverend Derek Stapleton led a diverse and community-focused St. Beats, followed by Reverend David Julian, who led with impactful Sunday school and youth ministry from 2011 to 2017. In 2018, Reverend Jennifer Schick became the priest and with graceful leadership, she revitalized St. Beats and its connection to the wider community. Reverend Irwin Shika joined during the challenging times of COVID in 2020 and led the congregation through a unique period of digital engagements. He continues to be the incumbent in St. Bede's 100th year with attracting an influx of new immigrant families, particularly from South India. Today, the church is self-sufficient with modern facilities, harmoniously blending tradition and modernity. St. Bede stands as a symbol of faith, community and resilience while continuing to shine its light from up the hill.